Cancers, welcome back to Moon's Bell Tarot. So today we are going to go ahead and do your weekly reading for April um, 18th through the 24th. And so let's go ahead and pull A's um, angel card first, and we will go ahead and then do some tarot next, okay? And don't forget to hit that subscription button if you like weekly zodiac readings just to see how your week is going to go. And also don't forget that I do pick a cards about four to five times a week. So if you're interested in that, hit that subscribe. And this is for Cancer, a Sun, Moon, and Venus. Okay, so what do Cancers need to hear this week? What is going on with Cancer? What is some valuable information Oop, for them to hear right now? Okay, positivity, faith, and optimism. So Cancers, this week is definitely a good time to work on being positive. You know, um, Cancers are a very, uh, like, emotional sign. You tend to take things more to heart. Things tend to, like, hurt your feelings uh, much more. And that's okay. You know, that's just in your personality. That's how you are. And so just, you know, be conscious of that and work on trying to stay positive this week. Um, you know, don't let just, like, maybe the normal things that may kind of bum you out a little bit make you feel bad. Just learn to, like, let those things go. Um you know, let it roll off your back. That's like a really great practice for you this week. And, you know, by learning to let things go, it's really positive because then we can be in a better mood and we can, um, you know, not feel so down. And so, especially because you all tend to kind of go with the flow. And if you kind of feel down, you may continue to feel that way all day. So it's really um, like a good thing to do to just work on your positivity. Okay, and be optimistic that, you know, things are going to be good. Okay, so we're seeing with, like, you working on positivity, you working on, um, you know, your optimism and trying to um, learn to let go of things that maybe hurt our feelings. I see, for many of you, a potential love interest coming your way. Um, for those of you who maybe already, like, are in a relationship of some kind, I see your partner doing something very kind for you. Um, whether that be something really big, like some sort of, you know, um, commitment or them just being kind, like maybe, uh, take you out on a date or just being like extra nice to you one day. Maybe they saw something out and about that they thought you would like and they decided to pick it up for you. So, you know, as we're putting out those positive vibrations, we are going to be welcoming back in positive energy. So if we are making that effort to not be negative and not feel kind of bummed about everything. Um, it's welcoming in a lot of new happy energy. Okay, and so I see that this week something is going to come to a close that has been bothering you. So if there's been something really heavy on your mind, um, it's definitely going to work back out for you and it's going to be over. So if there's something that's been really heavy, You've been thinking about it a lot. Expect that to kind of slow down for you this week. Um, we see that that is coming to an end, which, you know, can be a very good thing for you. And again, that helps for you to be able to let go of some things because you don't have like this constant um, like stressor on your mind, right? And, you know, it's I definitely see it's something that's been very hurtful to you, something that's been um, giving you a lot of you know, stress, a lot of anxiety. And so I definitely see that like, you know, what we talked about with you and your partner, it may be some sort of celebration that you two, you know, maybe, you, you know, had a lot of stress, maybe someone lost their job or something like that. And so you all are able to celebrate and be happy. And again, I see your partner being extremely nice to you and just going out of their way to make sure you feel good and show their love. And also, you know, I see that, um, you know, for some of you, this may even be a new romantic interest. So maybe um, if this um, situation that's closing, it may be the closing end of a relationship. Maybe you've finally gotten rid of, uh, you know, everything that your partner used to have in the home or um, you've signed some paperwork maybe even or whatever that situation may be. Um, we see that that is a done deal and now you are able to move on. And, you know, I see that this week you are going to be very busy. I feel like, um, you know, again, your partner will want to be around you. They'll want to do some things with you, maybe go on a date. 
or uh, for those of you who are meeting somebody new, you may go out with this person for the first time. You may be you know, busy talking to them on the phone, getting to know them. So I see this week, and uh, especially leading into the weekend, you're going to be very busy, um, definitely have a lot going on. Uh, but that's really great. You know, we have, um, you know, more of an opportunity to go out and, you know, not sit at home all day and breathe in some of that fresh um, spring air, okay? So thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it or it resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up down below. And I hope you all have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.